But also, I need to tell you something. Uh, <laughs> um, I had sex with Bill. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Okay. That. Me neither. Um, and I, did, I didn't do it because I want to be with him. You know, I, I did it because I'm just really trying to figure out who I am and what I need. And this is how you go about it? Um, so we're done. I want to be in love with you. I feel like I should be in love with you because you're so good. You're so wonderful. I hope that you know that, 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 that there's literally nothing wrong with you whatsoever at all, ever. But I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just not there. <laughs> but, I don't know if you believe this or not, but you deserve to be with somebody great. You really do. But no one great is going to put up with any of this. So whatever you have going on, I hope you figure it out. I want to say this, that yes, this is a, um, it's entertainment, it's fake, whatever. But it is still, there's some truth to it. There's some realism to it. Because I'm saying this, women are only loyal to their emotions. They are ruled by their emotions. Women will either break up, leave, or not even notice, take notice or interest of good men because they're ruled by their emotions. So they want those butterflies, those up and high, uh, those lows and highs of emotions that, let's say, a bad man or, you know, a uh, charming, mysterious, or men that with less um, morals and character, but high amount of charm, high amount of um, machismo, whatever. That men that, let's say, they deal with a lot of women. They're used to playing a lot of women. The players, the bad boys. they rather deal with those men because those men know how to... Um, interact with women's emotions right give them those butterflies those those feelings of excitement that's why women ignore they see these uh good men decent men with amazing qualities with monogamous long-term good qualities but it, they these men just don't give women butterflies they don't give women the vibe as women like to say it right the chemistry, stuff like that. So in turn, women just they like what like what he he said in that video, right? Is that women deserve, you know, I mean or women should get good men, but with all their baggage and trauma and unhealthy view of what a relationship should be, they're not no man is gonna deal with it. No good man is going to deal with it. And at the end, you're only going to hurt good men. So, like I said, women are only loyal to their emotions. And they are ruled by them as well. that You've said that you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man. So I will not ask you to indict men in this question. But I do want you to speak, Ayanla, to how women need to... Uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build, when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if a bus If he owns driver? the bus. If he owns no. it, if he owns the bus, See, that's, a problem. that's a problem. That's a problem okay. because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa, playing video games all day. 
I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm -hmm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver mm -hmm. if he was, if he loved driving the bus, if he was a man of integrity, if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well, I would date a bus. You know, I find it funny that women complain about cheaters, complain about men, um, men being controlling, and also women trying to be feminist, like saying about, you know, they want to work, they want to um, make their own money, all this stuff, right? All these complaints, all these expectations, all these standards. Yet women really never care for men being moral. They don't. Because what they, at the end of the day, they always go back to money. Wanting a man that makes more than them. Here's a woman that, let's say she looks, I don't know. Uh, established in her career, I guess, but yet still desires a man that makes more than her, that makes equal than her, most likely more because she said provider and protector. Even a man that makes less than you can protect you. He may not provide for you as well as you want him to, but he, he can't, I mean, protection is... Not necessarily based on money. So these are the women that is funny that they don't care about man's characters, his morals. You know, or what's more important. These women want to be so, they want so bad to make their own money. Yet at the end of the day, they still want a man to make more than them. So what's the point of making your own money? When the men you only date or want to be with or marry is men that make more than you anyway. It, it, it just boggles my mind how women constantly complain about men, but they don't understand. Then you should focus on what is more important, which is character, morals, how he treats you, right? If he... um. You know, if he actually care, if he has principles that are, you know, um, of principles that maybe, you know, uh, be, how do I say it? Um, that just show him that he's a good, decent man, you know, that he's respectful, that he cares for others, just more good character traits, a good moral compass. No. I want a man that makes more than me. A man that can provide for me. So what's the point of you having your own... Like if you go look at the statistics, which y'all love to do, you will see that black women literally save black men in terms of desirability because we were choosing y'all and y'all weren't choosing us. Y'all were literally bottom of the barrel as least desirable and so were black women. And this has to do with slavery and everything I understand like that. But y'all left us out to dry because y'all chose another race, but we still chose y'all. And yet y'all will sit and build these podcasts and talk shows to degrade us to say we're not doing enough, to say all these things, and then sit and choose someone else in our faces. It's really disrespectful. And your mom's raised y'all, so y'all should do better. See, this is the delusion of women. She wants to talk um, statistically. Well, statistically, black men marry black women at a larger rate than any other race. They they don't marry they marry black women more. There are more black men marrying black women than black men marrying other races. So I don't know what she's talking about. What actually I do right. Let me let me tell you something. What she means are the men that are top percent of men. Those top percent of men are even more choosy, right? So you have to prove yourself to them. So women compete more for those type 
So, so for those top percent of men. So in her eyes, all she's seeing is those top percent of men. Because all the other men, all the black men that do marry or do want to be with black women is invisible to her. Because what? You think she's the type of woman that wants average black men? No. Just like most black women or just like most women, they want the top percent of men. Because they want the best they can get. So they use their delusion to see the world in that lens where they only see how the top percent of men go. And the top percent of men, they have the ability to choose what they want because they get the options. Women want them. Women compete for them because they're top percent of men. So when you have the options, you you have to say you're the boss of what happens in your life, right? When you are um, the one that is desired, then you are, then you could choose how things work. So in her views, why is these top percent of men not choosing more um, black women? Well, because these top percent of men don't want to deal with the general black women attitude. Even though, let's say even average black men, although they don't want to deal with the black women attitude, they still love black women. So they will suffer through it and date, black, date and marry black women. While when you are a top percent of man, you don't have to do nothing that you don't want to do. That's why she's delusional. The only thing that will hurt him if he cries in front of me. I lose respect if a person cries because I don't know how to react towards that. It's like you're crying. Oh. Aside from those rare occurrences, the point is that men should comport themselves with a certain level of stoicism and dignity, learning to control their emotions and projecting an image of strength of someone who is composed and in control. Men will do anything but cry. Men, when, when you cry, you must fight the tears. And if you fight the tears, the audience will cry for you. How many men suffer in silence? A woman will go out there and she will slap a man, right? And if the man goes and calls the police, is the police going to come and arrest him and take him? Is that going down as a statistic? And I'm not even defending the man because as far as I'm concerned, no one deserves to get hit, but you've got to be fair about it. A woman will turn around, slap a man, and I'm talking like I've seen it happen, I know of it happen. A woman will turn around, slap a man, call the police, if the man slaps her back and they will take the man. Absolutely. How many men out there are getting slapped by women and that will call the police and say, this woman slapped me? How many men are going out? Women are too so quick to easy and turn around and say, oh, I've been abused. How is it for a man? If, um, if women, if that society would accept that men get abused, they will speak up more and then you'll see the statistics change. So as far as I'm concerned, all that talk about we should fear men and whatever, I've been battered by a man. I do not fear men because that is a rare occasion. That is a rare occasion. That is rare. This is not a competition, you know. <laughs> what if I told you we're all competing on earth? It's not a competition. That's life. You compete right now as a model, don't you, with other women that are models? Ooh. Yeah, but if I have a relationship, I don't compete with my partner. You do realize that if you have a high-value man, by default, you're taking him away from another woman, which is competition. Every single girl here at this table thinks they deserve a high-value man. So if you actually do get one, you are competing. Ooh, bars. Correct. Ooh. Myron, I had a question. Gotcha, bitch! All right, anyway. Oh. Uh, this is crazy. Uh, all right.